Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're gonna look at the Foxwell NT301 OBD scanner. A little while ago, they sent us the 201, which was the old version, and they apologized and sent me the modern, updated, uh, one version better, 301. So let's have a look at this. I've already had this opened, because I didn't want to bore you guys with doing the update like I did on the last one. So the packaging is not very exciting, but every Foxwell comes with this pamphlet and I would love to test out some of these higher end units right there. But this is the NT301 right here, quite a bit bigger than the last one. Rated input 8 to 18 volts, operating temperature 0 degrees to 60, storage temperature minus 20 to 70 degrees. It's got nice rubber packaging around it. So obviously you could probably drop this and won't have to worry about it smashing. Nice big buttons. The only thing I see right off the bat that might be a little confusing is the way the buttons are set up, up, down, left, right. It would have been better if they were more central because that's just the way I'm used to doing things, not that it matters. So let's take this out to my pickup truck, plug it in, and we'll have a look. First thing we're gonna do, plug this in. There we are, it's booting up. So the interface on this Foxwell is much like the other one. My same complaint is that the cable is a little short. Let's, uh, where's the OK button? I guess you just hit the middle one maybe, maybe not. That's instant ready monitor, it says it passed. Look at that, nice green on these. The Foxwell does have really nice screens, nice color, easy to read. We're just linking to the vehicle right now. The ND201 could read transmission codes. I'm not sure what this one here is going to allow us to see. Erase previously stored data to save data from this test. Alright. See what happens. So this must be our main screen right here. Read codes, erase codes, live data, onboard monitor test. What's this component test? Not supported. Never mind. Vehicle information. Let's still go modules present. Okay. It doesn't really do anything for us. Back to the main screen here, let's go to live data. Reading all the PIDs. Wonder how long this will take. Can record data too, playback data. Let's just go to view data. Complete data set. Lays everything out nice and simple. Gives you all your information. Can you... On the NT201 it could do a graph. Will this one do a graph as well? Yes. Whoops, I got out of it. There we go. This one here can do a graph. Let's go into something that changes a lot, like, um, let's go Spark Advance. I like the graph feature. So like the Foxwell NT201, gives you all the same features, uh, scan, read your basic data, can't get into any modules that I could see, uh, look up your codes, the review. I'm going to probably assume that is if you recorded any live data, you could uh, view that. It goes to this, but I can't uh, can't access that. Whatever it's supposed to be, print data. Got your setup. You know, some people said that the uh, key beeping was annoying. Yes, 
you can turn the key beep off and then you don't have to worry about it pretty simple um, I'm not sure what this one will run most likely budget scanners like this are under the hundred dollar range this is good for a person that doesn't want a lot of data just wants to like read the code see what's going on and go from there that being said I'm gonna get going I want to thank you Foxwell for sending me the NT301 not much of a difference between the 301 and the 201 pretty much the same features I'm gonna have to do some research maybe to see if there is any big differences maybe just in size obviously the one I got is an older model not the upgraded one that you just sent me anyways doesn't matter I want to thank you for sending me the scanner it does what it's supposed to do so if you guys have any questions or comments post them below I always want to thank you guys for watching